Hey, what up? It's your girl, Monicization. Today, I'm going to give my two cents concerning the comments that our president, the president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, gave concerning the youth of Nigeria. Mr. President, I was, and I'm still one of the people voting for you, routing for you, because I want Nigeria to survive. I want Nigeria to win. But Mr. President, you messed up big time when you spoke about the youths. When you spoke about the youths, that the youths are lazy. Which youths? Which youths are you talking about? Are you talking about the youths that are graduated university that are looking for jobs? Are you talking about the youths that are sitting at home looking for work? Going from one place to another with their resumes, sending their resumes to people? Are you talking about the youths that are being fucked by all these old people, by all by people on top to get jobs? Are you talking about the youths that are dying in oceans, in the deserts, in bushes? Are you talking about the youths that are dying trying to get away from Nigeria? Which youth are you talking about, Mr. President? Which youth are lazy, Mr. President? Which youth are sitting down waiting for welfare? Waiting for government assistance? Which government assistance do we have in Nigeria? Which welfare do we have in Nigeria? Are you confused? Or are you trying to be like the Americans? Which youth are we talking about, Mr. President? I support you in a lot of things you do trying to get the thieves, people, vampires that is trying to take away all the monies from Nigeria. The politicians that stole all our monies, taking our monies and giving it to their families. The only thing I talk about is that I don't see these people being jailed. I don't see these people. I see them returning monies. I don't know where the money is going. I see a lot of people being jailed. But Mr. President, these words that you talked about, the youth, you fucked up big time. You need to apologize to Nigerian youths. You need to apologize. I remember back in the 80s when Idiagbon and you were ruling Nigeria. I saw a difference in Nigeria. Nigeria had what is called war against indiscipline. Nigeria had what is called sanitation. We were clean. We were cleaning our neighborhood. Things were happening in Nigeria. A lot of people will say different about Nigeria, but I'm talking about what I saw. I'm not talking about what I read. I'm talking about what I know. I mean, I was a kid, but believe me, I saw something. So, Mr. President, I'm not sure if it was Idiagmo that was doing the work or if it was you that was doing the work. But something was good in Nigeria in the 80s when you did rule. I mean, a lot of mess up in Nigeria, but I talk about the little good thing that I see about Nigeria. But Mr. President, when you talk about youths being lazy, <laughs> there's nothing lazy about Nigerians. There's nothing lazy about the youths. The youths are hustlers. The youths are people that will push, that will do whatever they want to do to get to the top. The youths are confused. The youths are confused. They are frustrated. They are crying. Mr. President, Mr. Mohamed Buhari, President of Nigeria, you need to apologize to the youths. You need to apologize to the youths. I see a lot of people bringing out the pictures of Jonathan, the former president, Jonathan. Good luck, Jonathan. What did Jonathan do? Jonathan was one of the problems of Nigeria. Jonathan took all our monies, gave it to their thieves. Siphoned the money, gave it to a lot of people. There was money spreading around Nigeria. People had money. But I tell you, my people, Jonathan was not a good president. Jonathan was nothing compared to good. Believe me. A lot of people had money because they had a lot of money to steal. But did you have money? You Nigerians, did you have money? Did you have money? It was your money that was being stolen and being siphoned around the, uh, the country. Two years, three years, four years is not enough to change Nigeria for good. I tell you. Mohamed Buhari might not be, uh, things might not be going well, everything, we might be suffering, but you know what? For anything to be good, we have to go through hell. Nigeria was milked. I don't even know how Nigeria is surviving. Nigeria is in trouble. Mohamed Buhari has been pursuing them. A lot of things were going on. I don't know what is going on, but what I know is that a lot of people have been returning monies back. I never saw that in my lifetime. I mean, I'm seeing it now. But Mr. President, you did a good job with that. I don't, I'm not going to talk about the killings and all the other stuff. That's a different topic. The topic I'm talking about right now is about the facts, Mr. President, that you called some of our Nigerians lazy. Nigerian youths lazy? <laughs> 
ask other African people about who Nigerians are. We're one of the smartest people in the world. Education is not our problem. Hustling is not our problem. Laziness is not our problem. That is not part of us. Who are we lazy? Nigerians are not lazy. We're far from being lazy. So you need to apologize to the youth of Nigeria. You need to apologize. You need to see the big picture. You need to understand that one thing about Nigerians that you don't get, you don't understand. Is it because you're old? Is it because you are, you, you've lost sight of what is going on because your children are not suffering? Mr. President, Nigerians need to get an apology from you. I hope this message gets to you. I hope you see this message. You need to apologize to the youth of Nigeria. I am one of those people that's routing for you. I want Nigeria to survive. I want Nigeria to win. It doesn't matter who is on top because I'm not being paid to say this. I'm not getting anything from this, but I'm a true Nigerian, a Nigerian that loves Nigeria, that wants Nigeria to survive. Mr. President, you need to apologize to the youths. You have to.